In 1990, a range of playing cards were released that contained an errant scribble through the letters T-E-R on the back design. Despite that, the squiggle and an out-of-date blue logo remain unchanged to this day. Why? So one more time, in 1990, a range of playing cards were released that contained an errant scribble through the letters T-E-R on the back design. Despite that, the squiggle and an out-of-date blue logo remain unchanged to this day. Why? T-E-R. Is, is it a signature of some sort? A squirrel? A squir a squirrel? It's not a squirrel. It's a squirrel. <laughs> That'd be very different. <laughs> yeah, they left it on there. It must have it's still been in some sort of acceptable form that they went, eh, yeah, we can say that it's a signature. Why not? Or something along those lines. Are the letters important? There is a certain subset of our audience who will be absolutely screaming the answer right now. But it's a very, very small subset. <laughs> we should really play this out a little bit, just Milk so that it. they get even more annoyed. And Tom, I'm pretty sure you have said that at least once in every episode that I have been on here. It is haunting me now. Oh, I can't have a catchphrase. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so there's got to be some word, some company name, something or other, that did have the letters T-E-R at the end, and for some reason doesn't anymore or shouldn't have and somehow they still got printed like this anyway do we need yes. to know playing card companies that would mean nothing to me except for nintendo back in the day i think you'll have heard of this one. Oh dear what's the famous one that does all the cards it's not it's not top trumps is it is that is that, is that too it's not but you have moved away from like a deck of 52 cards here Hmm, interesting. Often pondered about um, the name Top Trumps in the context of Donald Trump and whether their sales have gone down. But that's, a, that's, a, that's even more of a detour. Um, and, and that T-E-R, we're, we're assuming it's at the end of another word, not just on its, not just on its, not just on its own. Oh, good point. I really did. No, you are right there. It's at the end of another word. Okay, that's a good assumption. What are some words that end with T-E-R that could be relevant here, especially company Oh, names? you're not going to get the word. You are 100% oh, okay. not going to get the word. <laughs> Interesting. Should we be focusing on this blue logo, perhaps, that hasn't existed since I was born, I wonder? I think the best way to attack this question is to figure out why they would have never changed that in any reprints or later versions. So now I'm just writing the letters T-E-R over and over again and crossing them out <laughs> in different ways again, to see if it looks like anything. And could it be that they're not changing it because they were like highly collectible or because they were, um, that, that was like, they're like stamps where they like miss, they like get misprinted and they become more valuable or more sought after because of the, the error? Or has it become like an iconic thing? You're definitely in the right areas there, Sean. Did it become mm. more I iconic and desired by a certain subset of people? Or was it just a novelty for everyone? It was a misprint. But it was a misprint they then have had to do every single time they printed cards since. Oh. So you can buy cards like it now? You can buy a lot of cards like this now. That's curious. We obviously all don't do enough gambling. I feel like we'd have got this much quicker if we were like down the casino. So um, could it be some kind of collector's card rather than a card? A Oh, you did say it was a game, though, didn't you? Rather than a... Um, so they're not going to be like baseball cards. Or you can play baseball cards, can't you? Uh, You're getting closer there with, with collectible things there, Sean. These are very collectible. Pokemon, Pokemon cards! cards. <laughs> <laughs> Digimon. You're now getting very close. But this is yeah, what, 1990. What was the pr yeah, what predated Pokemon cards by a few years? All I can remember is that game where you had the circles. What were they called? And you, like... Pogs. Do you remember Pogs? <laughs> I don't Americans don't know about Pogs, do they? That was a thing. Yeah, they do. That's an American they? thing. They they don't Is know it? about Tazos. They... Oh, that's right. It's Tazos. Tazos. Right. Yeah, because yeah, they were the ones that fit together, weren't they? I have a gap in my knowledge between baseball cards and Pokemon cards, and I feel like that's about a 50-year gap for a lot of people. But I don't know how long baseball guard cards actually stayed in fashion. Okay, here's, here's the bad news. The answer to this question is exactly in that knowledge gap. You Fabulous. Have, you have managed to root entirely around the answer to this one. Um, yeah, we're looking for something very much like Pokemon cards that's still being made today. Still be... I was going to say, in 1990, I was, like, not collecting anything. I was, like, barely feeding myself. So... 
Oh, goodness, what else is there? How old is Magic the Gathering? And, well, as it happens, uh, about 33 years, Danny. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> now, hold on, if I'm turning 33 this year, let me count backwards. This could be good news. What could a... All right. We've got Magic the Gathering. This feels like a strong step. Yes, I'm it is. I'm writing Magic the Gathering down. <laughs> Blue Squiggle T-E-R? What is this, though? Oh, no, you're right. I'll bet Bill can hear this in the other room and is very mad at me. <laughs> but so, there is no T-E-R in a, in a line in Man Magic the Gathering. You sure about that? Oh, no, it's, it's Gathering, T-H. So, they misprinted the very first Magic the Gathering cards. Why haven't they changed that since? Oh, would it be some kind of like um, a, like trademark issue? Was it supposed to be called something else? So I'll tell you the ten-letter word, which was Deckmaster, which was the name that Wizards of the Coast, who are the company <gasps> that make Magic the Gathering, applied to all their games back then. Now, they don't make most of those anymore, but all of them had that on the back. It's completely out of date. It's not been used. But why are they still putting it on the back of every card, and why does it still have that misprint going through it? Well, now it just seems like a Christmas celebration. It says Deckmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's not much. It's just a little squiggle. It's not. Mm. It's not a big misprint. Just a little squiggle. Oh, if they go, oh. if they if they have new ones, then you'll know they're newer or older cards. So you can't. They all have to look the same because if not, it ruins the game. Yep. Every oh, single Magic the Gathering back. card for 33 years has had to have the exact same back on it. Absolutely right, Ruth. It doesn't matter that they've updated the logo for the game. In all the publicity, on all the box art, everything like that, they've updated the whole logo, but the backs still have to look like they did in 1990 with that misprinted squiggle on them. Yeah, frustrating for them, I assume. I know, I'm literally, oh. And they'll have, you know there'll have been a meeting about whether they should change it and just at what point do you think, you know, no, no one will notice. We've only sold a few thousand of these. 